Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this picture. They want to remove everything except for the head, and they want to be able to text a path around the head. Uh, they're going to use it for T-shirts and put their T-shirts on this young man's face. So I've already made it really little. It's like less than an inch by an inch, 0.6. Uh, I think it helps Corel trace it better. I've set my nudge factor on two inches. So I'm going to make a duplicate and move that over. I'm going to work with this one. I'm going to go to Trace Bitmap Outline Trace Clip Art. Clip Art works pretty good on 99% of the time. And you can see it's already deleted most of his t-shirt. It's still there though. So we're going to go to Object, Ungroup It, and just click on that shirt and delete it. Now we're going to delete all the gray matter around the shirt. And let's zoom in here. We'll get rid of some of this gray matter um, above this young man. And you can always finish that later. Um, you know, just make it a little bit smoother. You could actually probably smooth it out now, but I find it's better. You know, like right there, do you really want that little piece of hair? So grab the shape tool and maybe delete those two nodes. And then select those two nodes and right click and turn them into a line. You know, and then it's just whatever you think needs to be left or not left. So we'll get rid of some of this um, gray matter right there, and maybe even that. So now we've got it pretty good. We're going to take a rectangle and put it around there, and we're going to fill that in. I'm going to use blue. It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to, I'm actually, you don't have to change color, but I'm going to change color to green and I'm going to put it there. Now I've nudged this whole time so I can nudge back and then I can select all this and intersect it. I've done a lot of videos on this. There's the young man and if we take a yellow box trick there is nothing behind him. Go to object order backup page. It's just his head. Now how would you text a path around that? I'm still going to get rid of some of this garbage. I could take the smoothing tool now and just get, you don't really have to take away the garbage, but just make his, his hair. And you could use the shape tool to um, get rid of more of that, you know, just give a little even kill. That's pretty good. So now what we want to do, because we've changed it, let's go ahead and get rid of that. We'll bring our rectangle in now and we'll use our smart fill tool. And I'm going to nudge it over. And I'm going to, this time I'm going to left click, right click. But I'm going to go to object and break the curve apart. And then I can get rid of the rectangle. I'm going to take the object now and go up to effects and contour. I'm going to contour the outside 0 0.02 with rounded corners. And we get that. Now I'm going to go and break the contour apart. Go up to object, break contour apart. He, they only want, they're going to put the name of their t-shirts on top. They asked that I not use that. I'm going to draw a straight line across there, and I'm going to get my virtual sigma delete key and delete that and the inside contour or the original contour. Now we have a text to path, and I'm just going to use headshots again. And this will this will kind of show you a little trick. You can always, if you mess up, you can go always go to text and straighten text and put it back, or you can retype it. So then we're going to take our text, go up to text, text the path and put it on there and get till you have kind of like that red line and you want it right on that line because remember we contoured. Now I'm going to select it all, go up to object, break the text apart, get rid of our line and because we've nudged, let's get rid of our outline, because we've nudged, we can nudge it right back and it's a text the path above his head. Now you might want to do a little bit more because the Y is in there and you could always just, you know, slightly move it up or move it over. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit and thank you for watching.